Well, good morning, everyone. So good to be together again for some stories and a craft. And today I have a story about Otto the book bear. And it's about a little bear that lived in a book, but he came out of the book. Let's see what happens. And we have a craft that we can make of a little bear. And we'll make him a book bear by putting him in the book. Let's see. He does not watch. He is gonna come popping out. <laughs> All right, we're gonna read that story and make our craft, but first we're gonna sing our song. If you wanna hear a story, clap your hands. Everybody ready? If you wanna hear a story, clap your hands. If you wanna hear a story, clap your hands. If you wanna hear a story, if you wanna hear a story, if you wanna hear a story, clap your hands. All right, let's get started. Otto the Book Bear by Katie Clemenson. She did the pictures and the story. Otto the Book Bear. And here he is. He's very tiny. You can see him right with a little cup. That's how little he is. Once upon a time, there was Otto and he was a book bear. There he is, he's a picture in a book. He lived in a book on a shelf in a house. And he was his happiest when the children read his book. There he is. But Otto had a special secret. When no one was looking, he came to life. Look at that, he's walking right out of the book. Otto loved to explore the house. There he's looking at pictures and looking at the telephone, climbing up the stairs. He would read his favorite stories and practice writing on a typewriter. But one day, one day something terrible happened. Otto was left behind. Oh, look at that. His book is in a box and his family moved away. They forgot and left him behind. Poor Otto. Oh, Otto did not like being all alone. So he made a plan. He packed a bag and he set off on a new adventure. There he goes. Oh boy, but the world outside made Otto feel very, very small. Nobody seemed to notice him. Look at, there he is right down. He is little, very little in that picture with all the people and the dogs and kids and big buildings. Oh my goodness. Otto began to search the city, hoping to find a new place to live. But nowhere he went felt like home. There he is. It was either too busy, too wet, too cold or too smoky, or too high. Here he is on a rooftop and too windy and too unwelcoming. But those cats look like they may grab him. Oh. Otto did not live, like living in the city and he missed his warm book. He was starting to feel downhearted, but he decided to pick up his bag and keep on walking. Here he goes. And just when he thought he could not walk any farther, when he felt so cold and tired, Otto saw a place full of light and hope. I think it's a library, look at. Well, he went inside that building and he found rows and rows and rows of books. And Otto began to climb. And there at the end of the shelf, he saw something special. Could it be, could it be? It was another book bear. <gasps> Look at that. He's just like Otto. 
That other book bear shook Otto's paw and he said, I'm Ernest, how do you do? Well, Otto's new friend showed him around the library. That's where he was. And he discovered it was full of book creatures of all kinds. Look at, there's a little dragon from a book. Here's a witch with a magic wand. And there's Otto and a little bunny. I mean, and there's his friend, Ernest. They were just like him, out of the books for a not while. Together with Ernest, he could once again read his favorite stories and practice his writing on the typewriter and try out all kinds of exciting things. Look at that, they've got the library stamper. <laughs> They're having fun stamping things. Oh, and look at here, we've got all of his friends. I think I see Humpty Dumpty. Oh, and here's a little seal and a doggy and an elephant. Oh my goodness. That is really lots of friends and the three little mice. Now Otto had lots of readers and that made him the happiest book bear of all. And there he is back in the book with his friend Ernest and all the kids are looking at him. And here's Otto and Ernest at night, having a little nap, a bear nap. Oh boy, look at that. There they are back in the book. I, and wouldn't that be funny if all the creatures in our books would come out at night? That's something to imagine. Hmm, that's a good story. I like that one. Now I'll show you how to make a little bear that we can put together. It's all made out of circles, really. I, I can show you here. I made a circle for his head and two little circles for his ears and a big circle for his tummy and little circles for arms, little circles for legs, and I'm gonna cut him out. And all the circles are kind of connected. Now I cut, cut, cut. And your bear can look different, you know, you can make him bigger or littler because it's your little special book bear. So it does not have to look like mine. Here we go. And I found a nice strong piece of paper. If you can find something like that, that would be good. And we'll glue him to the top of the strong piece of paper. A little bit of glue. Here we go. <clears throat> and you can give him a little face. We'll just put some eyes, little nose, and a mouth. You can dress him up too if you want, but there's your little book bear. And we're going to tuck him in the book. And he can come out whenever you want him to. Here we go. Come on out. There we go, little book bear. And you can give your bear a, a special name. It doesn't have to be Otto or Ernest. You can think of a funny name, maybe a little girl's name too. Could be. All right, well, that's our story for today. Thank you for listening and thank you, Carol, for filming it. And I just want you to remember to do something special for someone today to make them smile. That'll make you feel happy too. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day.